how's it going, my friends? God bless you. Thank you for taking time out of your day to join me for an augment build. Yes, we have lots of these augment builds on the way. St I, I don't know. I've been making a lot lately. I've just been playing around with all of the locality augments that I have. And we're I guess we're exploring them, seeing how to use them. Okay, so let's see. Is this thing working? That I have, and we're, I guess we're exploring them. Okay, alright. It seems like it's working. Um, yes. Uh, hi there. My name is Dave, or the Jaded Rabbit. God bless you. Really, honestly, truly, thank you for taking time to join me for exciting ways to play with Jax. Yes, this is by special request. Um, it's also in celebration of one of our dear bunny members, uh, Jax. Uh, yes, his name is Jax. Um, and he, like, I guess he wanted a build for Jax, his namesake, I guess. Um, yes, I'm so happy to oblige. Uh, happy belated birthday, brother. Hope you had a wonderful day. Um, but yes, in commemoration of this, we are making a build for Jax, using Jax, and his fancy augments. So if you're a Jax main, uh, this video is for you. Also, if you've ever been interested in pulling off some fancy brutality with Jax, this is also for you. This is an easy way of getting wins in hard activities using our dear friend Jax. Yes, oh boy. Okay, so let's see what you guys are saying. Jalen Green, hey OMG. Hey rookie agent Coral the Bajerigar. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, oh wow, okay. I'm so sorry, Coral the Budgie. I'm so sorry you're um like a combat league adventure that people are teabagging. This happens. These things happen. Okay, so this way of using Jax, it's not limited to any like particular preset or ability. You could be using whatever you want. Um I also was using the buckshot with this because there is a brutality with the buckshot and would be using the same augments that we are using today. So it's like two two for one, two ways of using our dear Jax, but we are really going to be making work of this heat cost heat missile augment. So let's start off first with a little demonstration here. If you're not familiar, the heat missile move requires you to build up heat with Jax. This could be done with like heating up his special move or by just hitting the opponent but if you're really going for like ease of use and quickness I feel like using this building heat move is very important so if you're not familiar it's like I like to teabag this is the best way for me to get these down down moves but when you heat up sufficiently oops when you heat up sufficiently, you can expend the heat to throw these missiles. So, um, unfortunately, you spend a lot of the heat without the augments attached. So we're going to be trying to go for, like, lots of uh, damage and lucky kills with the augments attached. So let's show Jax off here in Classic Towers. I think this is per perhaps the best way of gauging any augment build is to take them into a very hard on classic towers so ideally the augments should be getting you through the hardest of things so let's go to very hard yes Oh boy. Um, let's also uh, take along Jax. So the basic strategy here is you just go for the heating up move and then... Ooh, we've lost all the armor. Not good. <laughs> okay, so even if... Even if you're unable to get the brutality... Oh, it came at the very end. Lovely. So, uh, yes, getting the brutality. This is what we're really going for. Luckily, we got Devora on the first try. This is nice. This is nice, because uh, I think a bug is meant to be squashed under boot. 
I think it's a, a good a good use of this brutality. Oh no, Jax versus his daughter. So these are very hard situations, but we're getting through them. Huh? Huh? Ah, all right so i mean like even if you don't get the lucky brutality it still is very capable of carrying you through these very hard situations oh jacks love a jack saxophone this is nice oh i love that friendship yes i think jacks might have the best friendship in the game it has a song it has a dance it has like a different background it's all very lovely very very lovely okay so let's see what you guys are saying um oh hey cider m okay cool jonah i love my budgie great okay oh boy jonah um then i'll buy it equip the hot pink color okay pretty and pink yes great idea for a name for melina so yes, Jax is really able to get easy wins in these hard situations that people might not expect. Okay, so we are going to use the heat missile. Thankfully, we have the armor. Basically, you use the heating up just like twice. Then you then you can just throw as many heating like these heat missiles off as you want, which is uh, quite powerful in comparison to how Jax normally works without the augments. You can probably do that move like two times, two or three times before all of your heat is spent up without augments. But it's only with the use of augments that we're able to get like uh, this fancy effect with the heat missile move now let's take a look at the augments here because we are using like a three jinsei essence augments to get this this happening uh this one reduces heat dissipation by 100 percent heat sink this is probably the most rare augment in the set it is elder ranked but the other ones they are mortal mythic but this one is elder ranked because it just has a lot of power associated with it in the fact that the heat dissipation is very little it's um basically halved the amount of time let's see reduce heat to this uh, yeah by 100 percent so it's like about like your your time has been doubled that you can do your heat moves which is good because we are relying on the heat missile for this now we're also using heating up to really get a lot of heat generation happening now with the increased heat generation you can get a lot more uh oomph out of using that move if you don't use this augment it will take you more uses of this buff move to get the heating missile to be active but we're also using missile command so all of these augments are very important in working in tandem for creating this effect if you don't have all three of them then you're unable to do this as well so what level four missile command does it reduces the heat cost of heat missile by 94 percent that is really really cheap for using any heat missile any heated moves um but really you only have two options with the jinseis you could go for the heat missile with missile command or you could go for lethal claps so that's also another way of thinking about this build but unfortunately you can only put three jinseis on at a time if you wanted to fo like focus this around the lethal clap you would have to swap out missile command and then go back to your abilities put on that clap but the clap is also good because oh boy um you get a brutality off of it but i find the heat missile just to be a little easier because you've got the two 
hits with it. Now, we've also got armor clad and in good repair. This is very necessary for the build, otherwise you won't be able to use this heating up move very effectively, I find. Unless you're like a superb Jax main and you're able to get your punishes, then it's no problem. But what the armor clad and in good repair does, it allows you to get your hits off safely, like, everything that you will be doing when you're equipped with armor clad is essentially a punish. So that is the key of armor clad, really looking for punishes to get, like, that safe use of whatever move that you want. Whether it be a combo, some damaging special move, which we're doing with the heat missile, or to get this buff within, like, within good repair, it's easy to get enough of these heating ups, which is two to get two of the down down x's to really go for all of the heat missiles now we are able to land our heat missiles all the time practically with the natural 20 and running on empty combo very common combo that i love to use in augment builds because it just means that your attacks are landing essentially like 95 99 percent of the time um uh, they can only be flawless blocked but we are not using any special chaos effects here. We've just got the Luckality Augment, which is obtained from those Lucky Towers, with Jax as the final like boss character, that on Brutal Difficulty. This is where you'll get this Augment. But um, we're using level 4 Raging Inferno, because it is a nice damage boost that you're getting to the heat missile move, but it, this is really only powerful for like the heat missile, or his other attacks that become fire once they are heated up. So yeah, keep that in mind, this is only going to be giving you like a buff for the special move, not really for anything else. <laughs> You could swap it around for special delivery if you are more of a Jax main and you really enjoy playing with all of his different moves. But what I'm trying to go here for with this build is really easy victories in hard situations where, yeah, like, I don't really know much as Jax. All I know is these two moves and hopefully we can get a big shoe out of it, which is lovely. All right, so... Oh boy. Down, down, X. Down, down, X. Eh? Oh. <laughs> or that could happen, too. So since we do have that luckality equipped, you know, any luckality could trigger. Unfortunately, this was not the one that we were looking for, but lovely anyways. So I was just trying to get Jade away from me so that I could use the heat missile move, but I guess just not. Just not. So that is the power of, like, armor clad coming through there. Like, armor clad, super, super powerful. Just allows you to go for your moves without worry. All right, so let's go for Jax again. Hopefully we can do this. Ah. Ah. Okay, so, oh boy. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so let's go for the heating up. Hmm. Ah! She's hurting me! Oh, not good. So the problem with Jade is if she gets up that purple glow... Ain't no hit, heat missile gonna hit that. That's just not gonna connect. So yeah, you have to like wait out the four seconds of the purple glow. That's always a good thing to know about Jade. If you are facing her in combat league and she turns purple, be ready for that fourth second to punish. If you, I feel like if you're like tip top tier Jade player, you'll know about that four seconds of purple glow. Oh boy, it's so important. Um, but yes, you can have your choice of boot, too, with Jax, which is really quite entertaining. So let's swap around the costume here. With Jax, you've got different footwear with his different costumes. So let's say that you didn't like the big boot 
from this particular skin. You can totally switch it around to get a different boot. So let's swap it to his Season 11 skin so you can get this kind of big boot. It's really quite interesting that the developers have like programmed these skins to be so malleable. Malleable in the sense that you get a big boot for Jax with his like classic skin or you could get a big like I guess snow boot with this season um 11 skin. Let's do this again. All right. So, um let's also check out the comments. Let's see what you guys are saying. Oh boy. Thank you so much for joining along. Um since the St. Patrick's Day combat card background says kiss me, I thought I'd do daily challenges against Jade Rain Katana and Melina. Good idea, Dark Side. Um what's a good Melina build for that? Check out my Mo my lucky Melina Conum dash build. That's I quite enjoy that one. It gives you a whole bunch of effects. You get like chaos effects, you get like poison curse effects, you also get the luckality effect, which is just a whole lot of fun. Really enjoy that one. Um but this one I enjoy too. I think that this one comes across a little bit I think it's um I think, like, every character has their, like, strengths and weaknesses. I see the strength here in that um, you can really go for this heat missile move just endlessly, as opposed to no augments where you can only do this, like, two times. This is quite entertaining. It feels like groundbreaking, breaking the game for the character. Alright, so, we gotta get... Eek! Eek! Oh no, it hurts to kill Jade, but you get a different boot. <laughs> Do you see this? It's a different big boot. So I love that Jax, you can really like play with his fashion. Get all sorts of silly things with this gigantic Jax brutality, which is quite entertaining. Quite entertaining indeed. But there is multiple ways of using the same augments. So I was showing at the beginning of this video that this was like a Jax equipped with the Buckshot Brutality. Um, a Buckshot move. So you can get the Buckshot Brutality with this same augment build. But I much prefer the Heat Missile. I think this is much fun. The only problem with this one, the buckshot, is um, you don't have the same amount of range as if you did with the weapons um, development augment. Weapons free augment attached. Oh no, Jaxi! Ah! Oh no! <sighs> Alright, so let's see how many of these it'll take. But I feel like the heat missile is more fun to use as opposed to the buckshot. So the buckshot, you're only getting one hit each time. Whereas the heat missile, you're getting like multiple shots. But I mean, it still works. You just have to keep the opponent in the corner. Although if you do go for the buckshot, it might be a better choice to swap out that Jinsei missile command and swap it around for weapons free. But at that point, you're using two Elder Rank Jinsei Essence augments, which might be hard to get. Might be hard to get. But yay, Jax, so, so lovely. I am enjoying using him in these uh, varieties of ways. So let's take on Gyrus with Jax. Yes. All right. So aim here is to go for the heating up move and then the heat missile. Okay, let's try this. Eek! 
<laughs> oh boy! So, so lovely! Oh, Jax, this is so much fun. And I feel like these Luckality builds, they provide a shortcut to getting, like, really quick, easy wins. May not be giving you the points, but it totally works for a lot of situations. Especially, like, like regular like single player towers of time with two rounds this is really this is really powerful okay so let's see the comments let's see what you guys are saying all right um a uh, standard cassie and scorpion bundles yes dark side nothing interesting this um today in the gas shop i always thought we got the same daily challenges i guess i was wrong i have to do five fights with kung lao oh i have like old challenges i did not get the challenge for today the held up build oh boy i don't think so father hitoshi i think there's strength in all of these builds there's different strengths and weaknesses for all these things um uh, uh you'll never guess what jay skin I got in the St. Patrick's Day Tower. I don't know. Eyes are a single color. Oh boy. Jeremy's been getting jaxed. Oh boy. Okay. Nice. Nice. I don't know what, what, to, what to make of this euphemism. Alright, so let's go again. Let's do this jax. Jax, fun time. So let's go for heat missile. This is really what we're trying to do. But uh, the interesting thing is that um, Aguirus, he becomes like a, a like a total zoner at at distance. I never I never realized that Aguirus could zone. Ah. Ah. So you can really go for a lot of these heat missiles. A lot of these heat missiles with just building up your heat two times. Really quite powerful that you have all of these heat missiles at your command. If you did not have the Jinsei Essence Augment equipped though, doing this would not be possible. Not be possible. But the Luckality basically turns a lot of like weaker augments, Jinsei Essence augments, into more powerful augments, because you can get these, like, lucky shortcuts with the, with the Luckality equipped. And once again, I feel like Luckalities are probably a better choice as opposed to Lucky Blows, unless your character has some fancy mechanics regarding crushing blows. Lucky Blows would require, like, extra augments to work, and you wouldn't get, like, the same effect. Because there is, like, a crushing blow associated with Jax's heat missile. So this is why I went for the Luckality as opposed to the Lucky Blows. With the Luckality, this is the only augment that you need in order to trigger the Lucky Win. However, if you go for Lucky Blows, you would have to make consideration about using things like smoke and mirrors pure and simple things to give you your crushing blows easily and infinitely so yeah you would have a lot less augment slots to play with and really you want to kind of have this natural 20 running on empty shenanigans happening so that all of your heat missiles will basically land they can only be like ducked the first one or flawless blocked and and that requires like the enemy ai to pull off a lot of skill but this armor clad and in good repair is basically allowing the heating up to work if you did not have armor clad and in good repair it, i think it would be a lot harder for um a newer player to just sort of pick up jacks and get off these buffs in these hard situations you want to use at least two of these heating ups with fire starter so that you get your max arm heat immediately and then you can just spam all of the heat missiles with this wonderful missile command however as i was saying if you were wanting to use these augments with the buckshot you might want to consider using weapons free in place of missile command but i think the better option is probably 
missile command because it allows you to give you this like wonderful projectile that is multi-hit and beautiful absolutely beautiful so we are going to use these augments even in situations where the luckality will not trigger now i feel like the luckality greatly helps out this whole entire build because you don't really get a lot of damage off of the regular heat missile so really trying to boost the damage of the heat missile when you're already using defensive augments is somewhat difficult but we've got here special delivery and raging inferno this is going to give us a 90 percent damage boost to the heat missile but we kind of need all of these other augments here in order for everything to work so we're going to take jackson to stage six which i think is probably the most difficult like single player activity if you wanted to do lucky towers you could totally do lucky towers with this lucky jacks build but using them in situations like like for instance a team raid like, you can't use a Luckality there. Or Stage 6. These places, I feel, become the more difficult single-player activities. Because you don't have that Luckality open to you. Oh boy, we've wasted hearts on a Robocop tower. Ah, no, we need Jax. Okay, so let's put on Jax here. So, uh, Jax is uh, still kind of powerful with this, but it, I feel like it is uh, always wise to use augments, I mean, uh, consumables, in these stage 6 towers. So, we're going to put on armor, armor and healing. Yes, this is what we're going to do. Just in case, because, uh, yeah, you know, we are going to be needing to do this. We Was that a rat? What is going on? Oh, we need health. Oh no, my guts. Oh no, my guts. We need more health. Eek! Eek! We've made poor decisions! Ah, he's gonna kill me! Oh, he's just healed up! Darn! Huh? Oh boy. Much harder without the luckality. Also hard with all of these blood bats coming for me. Multi hit consumables. It's best to like block these. Eek! You got me! Ooh. Oh boy, okay, alright. Jack's having a tough time here. Probably should have put on the tower consumable. Okay, oh boy. Ah! Oh. Eek! He's coming for me! Eek! Eek! 
so as you see, the heat missile is really kind of tough to pull off if you don't have the luckality. It takes way longer. It takes way longer to get through it without the luckality. So I wouldn't say that um that it's not useful though, because this gives you really good practice. Just a lot of good practice. Yeah, I'm very impressed with how well the build still works, even without the locality. It'll get you through. You might need some healing and armor, but it'll work. It'll work. Um, if you're a better Jax than I, though, you should be able to get through this, like, cinch, no problem. No problem. But I think the fun really comes in with the localities. So let's put on that locality. Let's also change on our, uh, change our boots. Because with the Brutality, you can really get different boots, which is nice. So let's change the boots. Let's also put on that Augment. Let's also see the comments. If you are joining along, a like, a comment, a subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. It really helps out with the channel. Getting the news out there about these Augment builds, which I do spend a lot of time on trying to perfect and make usable. I don't want to put out anything there that just doesn't work. No, no, no. I want something reliable, easy, and consistent. Yes. And fun. Easy, fun, and consistent. Like, oh wow. That, yes. This is what I want. Okay, so let's see. Um, cosmetics. Let's change around the skin. Let's put on back that, that boot. I feel like this boot is best suited for the brutality. Let's also fight Jade. Jade is a good one to just KO with this build, because whenever you can use a projectile to kill Jade, I, I feel nice about that. And I'm a Jade main. Okay, um, when do you think Pirate Kano is going to come out? Um, since it wasn't that long- oh wow, okay, I don't know, Gary or Darkseid. It'll come out when it comes out, and when it does, I'll make a video about it. Um, I want Classic Rain to come back. I agree, Classic Rain would be a nice character to have back. How about MK2 Sister Princess Melina? That's a pretty one, too. All right, so solo tag. Let's take Jax. Yay. I love I love Jax. I really love this build because this is really quite an interesting way of using this arm heat in a reliable manner. Eek. Ah. Eek! I'm trying to use the move, it's not happening. Here we go. There we go. We forgot how to use the move for a second. But yes, back forward X circle. This is what we need to do. Um, in order to get these fancy brutalities. And lovely big boots. Lovely big boots. Wow, I can't believe it works just so nicely so yeah i really recommend trying out this build with Jax. if you only get one of his elder augments i hope it's the heat sink one i think that's probably the most versatile one of his augments that you can get from the elder ranked series of rare augments yeah because it's just so you can use it with this kind of build you can use it with any other kinds where he uses his arms which is a lot he's got a lot of arm builds Going up against five opponents in a row, it's hard to keep all of your um, arm heat, but it's much easier to do that in a single round opponent kind of thing like this, where the brutalities are active. Trying to use this for like situations where the um, brutalities are not active, it's kind of hard. Kind of hard, I guess. Um, but uh, yay, we got an indefensible augment. That's kind of rare. That's nice. 
sweet, sweet. So I'm enjoying this build. Really hope that you're enjoying it too. Uh, uh, if you leave a like, I'll know that you like it. Um, and we will probably come back with more builds if if you like this stuff. <laughs> maybe, maybe if you don't like this stuff, I just won't make builds anymore. Teehee. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's see what you guys are saying. Lil Meow, Ola, Senor Dave, Ola, um, Mi Amigo. Jaded, when do you think it will come out? Like, how many months or days? Uh, I'm looking into the crystal ball, and it says kind of cloudy future, not so certain. Um, so what augments do we need for Jax? Oh, well, okay, well, I guess if you're just joining, turn on that notification bell so that you join along as soon as these things happen but we are using a bunch of generic and jinsei essence augments to get this thing to happen um armor clad in good repair absolutely necessary absolutely necessary this is because you need it to get the heating up buff if you don't have this then you'll have to rely on skill and I'd rather just rely on strategy and augments. That's easy. Um, so if you have these augments equipped, essentially with two heating ups, you'll basically be at full arm heat off of fire starter. So that's just really quite an increase to using his arm buff. You get it right away. You don't have to worry about getting X amount of hits. Um, no, just two uses of this special move, you'll be fine. But if you are a Jax main, you might find greater benefit in taking off in good repair if you're able to build up the arm heat on your own and going for something more offensive in its place like special delivery um but we're also using natural 20 running on empty this is what's giving you this like wonderful um always hit effect um you like unblockable effects are achieved with things like natural 20 running on empty both elder ranked um dragon blood augments but you can get these from co-op towers if you do them every day so do your co-op towers every day to get your dragon bloods but you've also got here heat sink which is an elder ranked augment this thing reduces your heat dissipation by 100 percent it essentially doubles the amount of time that you'll have your arms heated up for very very nice um i think it's even greater than that i'm not too sure i'm not good with math math hard um but these other augments that we're using like fire starter this is mythic uh this other one that we're using missile command this is mortal and it's really quite powerful with in combination with heat sink because you're going to have all of your arm heat available to you quickly and for a long time and then you can use it for this heat missile business to really just throw out all of the heat missiles that normally you could not do. If you had full arm heat, without this augment, you would waste all of your arm heat with about two of the moves, but you can go for like 10 or more easily uh, until the locality triggers essentially this is what's happening um but we're using raging inferno just for a little bit of a buff to fire damage so that the arm heat heat missile move is really like popping off um if you wanted to go for better damage take off the locality go for special delivery if you are facing those situations where you can't use a locality like team raid or stage six but i think that it is definitely like more wise to use the locality with the missile command otherwise this entire thing is just a little bit harder to pull off i feel there are certain augments in the game i feel were buffed with these luckalities that happened uh, that um really brought in a lot of shortcuts to getting like easy one shots easy kills very very nice with missile command and jax's luckality um but i think that going for other moves too you can totally do this if you wanted to go for buckshot you would you you would want to use the same augments but um swap out missile command for 
for weapons free. Or, alternatively, you could swap out fire starter for weapons free. But yes, just very, very nice things going on with Jax at the present moment. Um, but yes, if you want to see other nice builds, please do leave a like. It really helps out. Even better yet, share it with your friends and family. Apparently, that does things for the algorithm. Um, but yes, um, uh, please do join the Bunnies member club. Um, it helps out with the channel making all of this possible, but um, you get more, more things in the club, like secrets secret strategies um special requests for videos which is very nice um we've also got like a sing songs a sing songs um okay so let's see what the comments are saying here lone wolf what about augments for cabal um lone wolf i felt like cabal has historically been cheated in this game i don't really like any of his augments which is very bad. Uh, I wish he could get a buff. That would be so nice. Um, Cole Young has a 50-50 chance, I'd say, to promote the new movie. Okay. Well, I mean, I have no idea. Please uh, limit rumors. I have no idea about these rumors. I don't make videos about rumors, because I don't believe in them. Um, I only believe in things when I see them. Uh, Mr. Green, good evening, everyone. Hello there, brother. Um, join the Joe Mage Club. What does this mean, Vasco? J O M H. I created a dirty acronym for that in my head. J. Okay, all right, never mind. <laughs> Okay, alright, so I have a special requested song for my um, dear friend Jax. Like I said, this was a special video for one of our bunnies in the club. Jax, love you brother. Happy belated like birthday. I hope that you enjoy this video. Please do let me know if this works out for you. Please use the augments, brother. I hope it works. Um, but I've got a special song for you, so oh boy. <coughs> <clears throat> Ooh, you need some augments. Ooh, well I got them. Ooh, cause I'm the rabbit. Jack said, make a build for the fighter who stole my name. And JJ Cool Dice EV Pink Dagger in my bunny game. <coughs> oh boy. Okay, I think I need to go higher. Uh, Jack said make a build for the fighter who stole my name. JJ Cool Dice EV Pink Dagger in my bunny gang. Yeah, we'll be sparring until Frost and Ragnar stop us. And Jade's giving mercies cause she's a demigoddess. I just wanna spar Mark tonight. Mirror match with Cider Mike. Oh, I make augment builds all right. Vasco is shady when he calls Collector Got Mick. Life is good cause we got Joel, Dante, and Atomic. Caleb, Terrence, Champier, and Jonesy are my bunnies. And if you wanna beat my Jade, come join the family. I wanna raid with Ryan. Play with you and or Alan. Oh, I'll even let you get the win. Oh, we go eek or we go own. The razor ranks all night long. Jade wins, wins the match if we zone. Na 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 na. We go eek or we go home. The razor ranks all night long. Jade wins the match if we if we zone. Yes, I'm a rabbit. Oh boy, okay. Oh boy, I'm tired. We should probably do this earlier. Okay, hoping, hoping Dave does the Nikki verse. Nope. <laughs> nope. We got rid of it. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, since last time the KL skin was apprentice. Oh boy. 
don't want to grind to demigod i do that every season oh boy okay so yes my dear friends thank you for joining along i hope that you try out this build please let me know how it works for you but until next time please stay safe stay healthy stay happy bye peace love you guys